How's it going, everybody, and welcome aboard. This is a sail along with Rona 47R because this is World of Warships. Really appreciate you joining me uh, on this voyage here. Wanted to share with you something pretty cool. I just picked up a, a new ship, yeah, actually just yesterday, and I'm going to be showing it to you in port. But for now, let's go ahead and buckle up. Come on over, take a look at this beauty here, the Dunkirk, a, a Tier 6 French tank and uh, tank a ship, and let's take a look at it. How's it going, folks, and welcome aboard the uh, World of Warships ride along, sail along. <laughs> All right, so this is kind of a rare thing here. Um, couldn't help but share this with you because this is pretty cool, and I know some of you guys are interested in uh, World of Warships, which I dabble in. Now, what I'm going to share with you here is the, uh, the Dunkirk, and this is a uh, Tier 6 premium battleship uh, that just came out for the French line. There is no French line per se yet. It is the only French ship uh, there is at this time. And, uh, you know, just a quick rundown on uh, what this thing is all about. Uh, if you're into the specs, and some of you uh, absolutely are, um, you know, the armor can range from 25 to 225 mi uh, millimeters. Uh, pretty much, though, it's only going to be in the front that's going to be uh, the amount of armor that's going to make of any difference. Pretty much, if you're being shot from behind, you are going to get penned. And uh, there's a 27% torpedo protection damage reduction, which just basically means that it's... Um, it's a numerical buffer to rate how well you'll do against um, torpedo hits. Meanwhile, uh, artillery is what they call it, and that's basically the guns. Um, so here, if you take a look at this beauty, which is, you know, I mean, it's very, very slender. It's a very long. It's pretty much the longest in its tier battleship, um, which means that it's really, really fast. It's very streamlined uh, for what it is. However, uh, one of the drawbacks of uh, being long and thin is that your ability to turn sucks. So the, uh, the speed in which you'll turn around, uh, make a circle, uh, is not so bueno. But you can see here on this battleship, it's the only one, well, uh, only battleship, I'm not going to say the only ship, um, that has uh, the primary guns are on the front. There's nothing on the rear. Uh, that are primary guns you only get these two turrets and in these turrets there are uh you know four guns each so you do get eight guns uh and they keep count a barrel as a gun each one of those is a 330 millimeter uh you know gun there and then you have secondary armament uh and you have a lot of them which is pretty cool uh when you get close in uh but they have different ranges and, and different abilities or, or or strengths um you know so it's definitely a secondary not a primary uh, but more on that later. And then, uh, you know, they got 130 millimeters, uh, you know, and two different uh, guns. <clears throat> and then as far as the main guns are concerned, you can shoot out to 18.2 kilometers. And again, these are all base numbers, uh, not getting into, you know, crew skills, or they call it captain skills. Tanks, we call it crew skills. Anti-aircraft defense, uh, I'm not going to read all those to you there, but, you know, so you do have some anti-aircraft. I point that out because some ships don't. Uh, this thing can go up to 29 and a half knots, which is pretty cool. But again, you can see here the turning circle radius of 730 meters is not so good. You're looking at the uh, the war spite as an example, uh, tier six, another uh, premium, and that guy's in the 500s. So you know he can turn a lot uh, quicker. Concealment uh, kind of problematic at a score of 27. Uh, you want a higher score, by the way. Um, kind of problematic because uh, it sits so high in the water and it's so long. I mean, it's a very very large target. Uh, you know, fairly easy to uh, to see. And this is the Dunkirk, and I will be showing you a uh, a pretty sweet game that I'm pretty excited to share with you. So one moment as we uh, get in there. But before we do, you know, just taking a last look at there and see if there's anything else that I want to show you. Uh, besides, let me back out. This little flag right here is something you can uh, win, and it gives you some bonuses uh, in play. And then uh, it's pretty nice because if you achieve a certain uh, objective, you get 200% uh, crew skill uh, action, which is pretty cool for a, for a buff there, for a, uh, a bonus. And then here's uh, tiers, the way the, uh, the crew skills work, or the captain skills work, is they have a tier one, and two, three, four, and five. And what that means is you literally have, this is the one point line, the two point line, and so forth. So it gets costlier, uh, more points need to be spent on these skills, but you can choose to set them up to give some advantages uh, in areas that you feel are, uh, you know, good to go. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can see here I've done, I have put on a few games. Uh, this guy, I got him actually yesterday. And uh, the other thing I guess I would point out is that camouflage-wise, you do have the ability um, 
to put on some camouflage, but with premium ships, uh, they actually give you, okay, air quotes, give you camouflage for free. So you get the benefit of the camouflage, and this is the design that it comes with here. You can see some, some type of visual painted difference there. But as far as the game is concerned, mathematically is concerned, uh, it does give you a negative 3% to detection, uh, detectability, uh, folks seeing you. And it's a plus 4% to the maximum dispersion rate of shells fired by the enemy attacking your ship. So basically it makes it harder for them to be as accurate on you. Meanwhile, you do get a 50% uh, XP uh, earned in battle bonus. So that's kind of nice. You know, one of the benefits of having a premium ship. And you can go ahead and plop in other, uh, same nation, but uh, plop in other captains uh, when they become available. Which, at this point in time, they are not available. Alright guys, let's go ahead and jump into a game and uh, check it out. All right, folks, so now we're jumping into the uh, the game sequence here, and you can see this is the load screen. In World Warships, you can see that there is a, uh, you know, your team is set up here on the left, and uh, on the right is the enemy's team. You can see there are some uh, names of the ships, uh, as well as their tiers, uh, some silhouettes there. And then this is the, the gamer uh, tags uh, for the players that are playing, and this uh, symbol here means that they are platooned up, or I guess in, in uh, World of Warships, they call it divisioned. So we're going to go ahead and jump in. And uh, in any moment, there we go. Now this game is pre-recorded, uh, meaning I've already recorded it, and now I'm uh, basically talking over the game. And it's pretty crazy because you can actually, even though it's recorded, you can kind of manipulate it around. It's really weird. This is a, a top view um, where it shows you the map, and you can show your, you can see your team. And in this particular game mode, there's uh, Alpha Bravo, Charlie Delta, and you are uh, expected to capture these flags or destroy the enemy. Uh, you can see over here, these folks are just talking and doing their thing. And this right here is an indicator in the far left is the name of your ship, how many hit points you have. It shows you a visual status of how much hit points are full. And, and all this information here uh, in this compass bearing, if you will, uh, shows you well what you're doing, the, where your guns are pointed. Um, the color of your guns indicating if they are, you know, loaded, uh, that sort of thing. This is your speed. Um, currently, it's set for autopilot. I'm actually drifting over here. I shouldn't say drifting. I'm under power, uh, underway, uh, going in this direction here to the southwest, which you're probably wondering what's going on there. Being a battleship and being a very thin armor, um, it, it, this is just what works best for me uh, in this particular ship. Meanwhile, uh, down below in the center, uh, for those of you that are not familiar with that, you can see there's an HE and AP uh, round. Uh, I don't think we need to really get into the differences between those if you're familiar with World of Tanks. If you are, I apologize, uh, but ones, you know, um, primarily I'll be using the, the AP. Um, unless you are shooting at things that are uh, much weaker than you, then you don't want to overpenetrate them because then you don't get any uh, points for that or, you know, damage. It just goes literally right through them. And then you'll switch to an HE. Meanwhile, uh, there is the, uh, the the key for R, T, and Y. Uh, there I'm doing a little misfiring there, a little negligent discharge. But it's not really me. It's a weird glitch thing. Sometimes when you do something where you look, it's like only one gun will fire. It's really bizarre. In this particular uh, battleship, uh, you do have your repair skill, uh, which is used over and over again as much as you'd like. There's just a cooldown period. There's no cost to that. Uh, in the middle, you can see where the letter T is. There's a picture of a ship with a plus sign. That's your, uh, like, a first aid. You only have three of those consumables. Again, they don't cost anything. You use it. It'll it'll help repair your ship for a small portion. Uh, then there's a cooldown period where you can use it again. Uh, in this particular case, there's only three maximum. And above the letter Y, there's a, a picture of a plane. Uh, that particular plane, that symbol, uh, is for the plane that can be launched off of my battleship. And it can be done, you know, it helps increase your range for, for spotting, um, seeing the enemy. But it also fights off uh, enemy incoming uh, aircraft. All right, so here we go. We are um, starting to head north. Again, my guns are in the front, so I really need to approach the enemy uh, with the bow uh, first. And if I, z yeah, you, know, you can zoom in. You can zoom in. Uh, you can zoom out. Uh, this is like the um, scoped in mode, if you will. And uh, if there is a circle, uh, like a target circle, if you will, uh, around an enemy, it means that you are in range, you're able to reach them with your shells. Um, if, if you're not able to acquire them with a circle, that means they're basically out of range. And uh, you can see there in the upper right-hand corner, or close to the upper right-hand corner, there's an exclamation point with the word detected. And, and pretty commonsensically, uh, that means that you're detected. If you fire your, your weapon, you're... Your range in which you can be detected increases, and it stays that way for several seconds. 
after you've not fired for a while, then that, that circle shrinks, uh, which is the range in which they can uh, detect you. You can see how, how large the circle got on the minimap in the lower right-hand corner once I fired. So people can practically detect you across the map. So there I am fire, firing at the uh, the Miyoko there. Um, I only scored 970. One of the challenges with this ship uh, is that the dispersion rate is very, uh, very not good. I don't want to say it's bad, but it's, it's, it's really uh, challenging. Um, shooting at a destroyer is not really what battleships do, but it's kind of the only guy that I have uh, to uh, to shoot at uh, that makes any sense. So I'm taking shots at the destroyer, and again, it's a lot of repositioning is what what World of Warships seems to be a lot about, and using the the islands and uh, angling your armor. It's it's very similar to tanks, but it's just a whole another whole another ball game. Incoming fire splashes in the water. I didn't take any damage yet. Some uh, friendly torpedoes are, are going in front of the enemy Dunkirk. And you can also see in the smokestack, uh, the angle of the smoke indicates the direction in which the, uh, the ships are traveling. So that's kind of an interesting little telltale sign. And it uh, looks like I hit him, but they are ricocheted, so no damage done. Once again, you could also hear I had some uh, ricochets off of my ship as well. Now I finally get penned and uh, lost some points there. You can see the, the graph symbol of my ship on the far left-hand side has decreased somewhat. And here we go. Continuing to battle on. Got the uh, the Koenig there. Another battleship firing at me. I'm trying to uh, angle away because the last thing I want to do is just be completely at a 90 degree angle and, and be broadside. I repaired the, uh, or we call it repairing, but it's like a first aid kit for your ship. You can see I've uh, gained some HP back, and that's pretty much going to miss. Splash, splash. No good. And the uh, Koenig there is about uh, almost 14 kilometers away. So I'm really just trying to uh, get in a position where it's going to make sense. Um, I've already lost one of my guys, and uh, you can see a cruiser is getting close to an enemy battleship, which I believe is the enemy Dunkirk. We have no idea where the destroyer is, and so far this game has been, you know... Not too exciting. It's just uh, humdrum, taking your time. I, I, I tell you, you, you really have to watch how you make yourself available for the enemy. It's very, uh, very important in this. You have to really plan ahead. There's not really any quick, quick movements, especially in the larger ships. Now, so far, I've only done 6111, uh, so just over 6,000 points of damage to the enemy, which is really terrible for a battleship. But we'll just keep watching and see how this uh, this game ends up. Now, the Dunkirk here is giving me a pretty decent shot. If I can aim it just right. Now, he's turning in, so I may be missing. You can see, look how wide the dispersion is between those shells. And uh, got some pens, but, or excuse me, I got some, uh, some, some hits, but no damage. No damage. Again, just kind of circling around and... You have to give yourself some time to not only change the direction of your ship, but then your 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 turrets have to uh, to rotate. I'm trying to debate whether or not to go around this rock. Now, bear with me. Hang in there. Um, <laughs> this game is really starting lame for me, but um, I'll just give you a hint. It, it turns out to be decent enough for me to take the time to share with you. But uh, I, don't, I don't really want to say any more than that. So I'm going around this island trying to keep these guys at maximum distance, which, I mean, you can see there that Dunkirk's 11 kilometers. I still, you know, I can shoot out to past the 18. He is on fire. He is slowly dying. And he is now dead. A uh, little white symbol there in the, uh, just to the right of the center of the screen indicates that my guns are unable to send their shells beyond some obstruction. So that is an obstruction or your, your, your fire is obstructed symbol. And uh, we're almost past the island. And you can see that Fuso out there. Uh, that guy is 17.6 uh, kilometers out there. And it looks like I fired just in front of him. I hit with one shell. Uh, still no damage. Um, all I'm doing is tickling these guys. It's terrible. Got a Koenig coming in straight on. Uh, not a very good uh, target. Now the Bayern over there, um, that's a great target because he is, uh, you know, fully uh, fully broadside. I'm trying to hit the Bayern. And one of the challenges is, is that these ships, um, 
the different speeds you have to basically hit a moving target and it's pretty darn challenging so i did get some damage there but now i have a mitsuki which is a uh, enemy destroyer coming into the rear now this guy has several torpedoes very fast japanese destroyers are are very ninja like and there he goes he disappeared hard to see them but he absolutely knows exactly where i am this ship of mine turns very slowly so if he launches torpedoes i'm probably going to be taking a hit or more um, you can take damage from the hit you take flooding damage if you're flooding it's just terrible you can get your engine knocked out and you get your rudder stuck it's there's so many bad things that can happen and now i have to deal with this guy poking around not bad here we go clipped him for a good amount for him which is 1940 that's a pretty decent chunk out of a little destroyer taking some incoming fire there from the larger ships up north and i still have this uh this destroyer that's sneaking up he's going to want to get really close or as close as possible and then he is going to uh want to turn broadside and launch his torpedoes now he can be launching them at any time and you can see he's about 5.1 5.2 kilometers away my secondaries are kicking in which is which are great Look at that they are just firing off some are hitting some are missing it really helps a lot because those those add up now they not they're not contacting yet but they will i took another 2,000 points in damage um, i'm continuing to move uh, so as not to get hit trying to uh, figure out what this guy's doing i mean i'm just getting it from all ends he got hit by a secondary one of my secondaries there we go i hit him with an he took him for a lot missed with my second round Secondaries, secondary just took them out. So I got my close quarters expert uh, award there. You get rewarded with uh, some in-game bonuses uh, by doing certain things. Not that I necessarily planned that. I just wanted to survive. <laughs> so looking in the lower uh, right-hand corner, you can see the mini map has a uh, a circle, and that circle is your your firing range. You'll also see that uh, there's a small, slightly grayed out cone that gets either large or it gets narrow. And that's basically the field of view when you are scoped in or, or scoped out. All right, so it was pretty cool. Um, I've got 19 pens. I got three secondary shots. I've killed one, uh, one destroyer, not bad. We're very even, uh, both in the score and the amount of tanks. You can see that destroyer is very, it's like a light tank. He's very, very quick and agile. He was able to dodge some stuff. I have about a 27 second reload time. He is trying to uh, cap uh, Charlie there. Now we got the Dunkirk popping out as well as the Koenig and these guys are broadside. I like that. Maybe I can take advantage of it. So here we go. I am shooting away. And you have to, uh, you know, aim, aim and line up on the vertical. And then of course you have to uh, hopefully hit a moving target on the horizontal. It's, it's pretty darn challenging. Okay, incoming fire coming in there. They took, ooh, 11,000 points of damage from behind somewhere. Again, terrible. I don't see them. They see me. It sucks. So I'm still waiting for my uh, cooldown from the previous uh, repair. And um, you can see there that I have uh, about half my uh, health is left with a, with a different darker green section. And when I use repair... That darker green section is what they will allow me to uh, to get back as far as HP is concerned. And now we have a battleship inbound there, the Bayern, which is a tier 6 German battleship. You hear that? The enemy is about to win. They have, uh, if they get to 1,000 first, um, they win. And uh, so it's 742 to 724. The only way you're going to get points is either A, getting, you know, resetting caps and, and taking over flags. They already have almost three flags they are gonna have three flags in just a moment we're working on one of them they do have three flags i apologize and we're working on one of them and you get points for destroying a, a ship but it's tough it's tough to do especially when you are a slower battleship now the dunkirk there is going in reverse so i'm attempting to uh to hit that guy um let's see if i do nice incapacitated uh his turret Got a few pins in there. That's tasty. Now what I'm doing is I'm moving in to Charlie, the flag Charlie, to try to uh, get some points and, and, and nail these guys because there's really nothing to lose. I mean, it's only 120 points left in the game. Tick-tock, tick-tock. This game looks like we're going to lose. It's terrible. 
Bad Dan Shamrock. Hail Mary shot here on the Sims. Boom. Missed. You, I was so sure I had that guy, but nope. Fell short. Fell short. There is a target there at uh, 9.3 kilometers, and it is the Koenig, and he is broadside. I'd like to, you know, nail him. However, just like in tanks, you want to get these guys off the map. Uh, in this case, not only for the gun, but for the points. Oh, the enemy is about to win. Now it's 104 points, 105 points away from uh, them securing a win. And I just, and, and there it is. I blind shotted the destroyer, who was um, really, really on his last legs. The Koenig has turned into me. Uh, his guns are pointing over there to uh, my left, which is the west of the map. Now I've got two enemy to deal with, plus there's a guy off in the distance, which I can't even bother dealing with. Now I have to think about situational awareness. There it is, incoming. Incoming fire from the east, from the battleship. I've got a battleship here. He is close enough for the secondaries. Um, I'm moving in on him. I'm giving The Dunkirk has a complete broadside shot at me. I, I am in toast. That is a bad, bad day uh, to be in, but I got to get in here. So getting my guns here, I'm trying to wig and wag. Got the banger and off in the distance to the east. That's uh, taking shots at me every time he reloads. Uh, the this this ship here is turning his uh, his whole ship and his turrets to bring to bear on me. I'm firing as fast as I can, taking some damage. Oh man, looks like he's gonna ram me. He's gonna hurt me. Oh, luckily he goes down before he rams me. I'm on fire. I put the fire out. I'm at 2.7 kilometers distance from the Dunkirk, which is basically the same ship as mine, and he has way more health than me. Plus, he has a buddy in the background. So now I'm trying to angle my armor, uh, completely facing him, trying to hit him uh, in the key spots on a ship, which uh, will help with uh, ammo racks, for lack of better words. Now we're completely broadside with each other. Got 19 second reload. My secondaries are just going crazy. Uh, my auto, my uh, anti-aircraft took out a took out a some plane from some wherever. Okay, I'm on fire. I cannot use my repair um, because <laughs> I've already used it. So I'm on fire again. We're going in circles, firing at each other here. The Bayern is still to my east, taking shots at me. But I've slowed down their their win to now. They only have 730, and now he is done. He is done. Now, I'm burning. I have uh, 20 seconds left, 19 seconds left uh, until the burn goes out on its own. By on its own, meaning my crews are trying to put it out uh, automatically. And, you know, I may burn and die. Um, fully reloaded. Taking a, a crap shot here. Even though it was aimed at the, uh, the island, it'll go up and over um, if you plan it just right because it's an artillery piece, if you will, on a ship. And the Hail Mary doesn't pay off. And I believe I did get a pen, maybe I missed it. I recall in the uh, in the past that I did get at least one. Anyway, so they have two, uh, two ships left. I almost said tanks, it's the Bayern and it's the Cleveland, so. Cleveland is very, very dangerous. Uh, he can fire a lot of HE very quickly put you on fire and he's a one shot and there it is that we win so amazing uh, amazing I stayed in the circle was able to assist with that and our team ended up winning I'm, I'm afraid that uh, you know with the recording thing of uh, there's a built-in recorder for, for World of Warships I'm still trying to get a hang of uh, not to mention my my computer is <laughs> challenged but uh, I'm I should have taken a picture of the uh, end game screen but uh, I actually came in first place the first time I came in first place with this particular ship it was uh, pretty darn cool. All right, folks. Well, let me know if you want to see more World of Warship stuff. I uh, sneak that stuff in when I'm not playing World of Tanks. And uh, I'll catch you guys out on the high seas next time. Now, where did my crew go off to? Oh, I see. There they are. Okay, girls. Tell them who they are if they're receiving this transmission. You are one of the 47, 47 Ronin. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.